guess. Okay, on to the next set with Numbers and Dill. A classic matchup. A classic set. To come. By running it back to FD. Alright, we're both going to FD this time. By running it back meaning like Dill is because he went there both games for a set against Louis Louis Jesus. Hmm. Like he's going through We Fit to We Fit. Coast to coast. <laughs> what would what would Robin stretch, if you will? He's got nothing much to really stretch, if you will. Is that that? I'm sure he's not flexible. But like, I'm sure, pretty sure Weefit will make him a bit more flexible. Because the fact that he's, she just does so much damage from most of her kit in general. Hmm. Gyro pressure is pretty cool so far. Like, like even at very distances, up close and a little far away, Dill can get a lot of pressure out. Oh, but that root is not going to confirm into the forward tilt because Dill had a good match on that, bro. Yeah, I can imagine Dill, or at least Rob, getting burrowed pretty easily from We Fit Jab. Because he's just such a huge character. He's so massive. Oh, but thinking of massive, that back air is massive. Killing him off the side around 90%. Mm. Okay, he has deep breathing on as well. So Dill has to try and wall him off as much as possible. But projectiles, safe aerials like that Nair. And deep breathing is gone, but it's much safer for him to approach if he really wanted to. But he just kind of... Fell into that headbutt, took a hefty amount of damage, but not enough to really take a take a stock off from the up air. So we still live it perfectly fine. And the up air to cover the edge guard as well. Very good stuff from Dill currently. Up throw not going to kill quite yet, even at 160, and even with deep ring as well. Again, D Rob is a heavy character. He is really heavy. Snake weight. S is he really snake weight? Okay. Yep. Snake and banjo and Rob. What? Banjo the same weight as snake? Oh my He's goodness. A bear. I He's a bear. He's not a male. He's not a man in a freaking high-tech military-esque suit with grenades and rocket launchers, or, or a robot who can do that to you at 80%. Yeah, like, like I can understand John's frustration. I'd be mad too. I'd be perfectly mad. That's justifiable. The spin to win, if you will. Kill so early with Rob. Mm. Okay, well, covering that with the soccer ball, actually, the soccer ball benefited him from a down tilt because it basically extended the hitbox, or at least the amount of damage you can get, because even if the down tilt connected, the soccer ball would have, if you will. And that was an odd back air. I'm assuming that was a misinput of some kind. He definitely wanted to back up. And, like, maybe he wanted to retreat forward air. Might have been what he wanted to do from that. Only really, like, logical thing to do when he wanted to back up like that while still putting out a hitbox. Still trying to go hard here. I know that the past, past few times that he played with John, uh, it didn't go so well for him, and really? he was just like, okay. he's like, man, I'm trying to body John. <laughs> so I think I think today he's got his hand in the game, but we'll see how the set really transpires. Right now he's got like a full stock lead going on, so. I mean, like you, like you were saying, man, Dill is going absolutely insane. A double up there? Oh my gosh, and the tech, tech. I'll be oh on the Oh my lord! <laughs> John, distraught. John! Damn, he died! No, Dill! Essentially escorted him from the bottom and the top. How do you do that? He found a way, man. Holy crap. Like, it doesn't matter if disadvantage or not, offstage or not. He was constantly on the better end of the trade. Oh my goodness, man. The double up air, taking from the down air on Wii Fit into the down air on his own behalf. My goodness. Chat, you want the cartoon sound effects? Please, please, please. I love the cartoon sound effects, bro. Please. No, no, like, like, do you have the bonk sound effect? <laughs> no, bro, bro, bro. You, it's, you gotta it's play the beginning. That. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that, that, that's Rob's running animation. This entire soundtrack, that's Rob's running animation. <laughs> Nah, you know what? Rob, Rob could be a Flintstone character. Like, he could be with that Martian guy coming from the future. Hmm, alright, alright. Cartoony antics aside. No, this is cartoony in a way. This is a cartoony matchup. A, yeah, a no, robot. This is straight up cartoons right yeah. here. You can take this straight up the Hanna Barbera cartoon. A robot versus a fitness. Uh, versus a gymnast, if you will. <laughs> Okay, he's got something that's on deck. This is clearly not at all as bad for John compared to last game. So it seems Ooh. things are a bit more in his favor with that air dodge catch on the up on the forward tilt. Good stuff. No, I, I always get those two confused, confused, man. Because the forward tilt, he's posing upwards and on the side, but on the up tilt, he's going straight up. 
so it's so hard to tell which is which sometimes. Because they both go in the same direction. Yeah, this time John is going much harder, surprisingly. I don't know if he's got more accustomed to the to the game, I mean to the to the matchup in that last game, or if he's just pissed. Because again, I saw John's face when he got side beat at 70 second stock. He was not happy. And well, he almost he tried got to spike that. Him down there. Wow. They can both go so deep. Like Rob and WeFit have amazing stalling options. Wow. Uh, okay. I both did still I doubt that was intentional. Because really uh, That was 100% intentional. Oh, of course, of course. Of course, all all footstools are intentional. Bro. No, they're not. <laughs> that one definitely was, though. Mm, okay, okay. <sighs> I'm not here to argue to just push the footstools, man. He I definitely just... just backed off to, to go get it. <laughs> like, he didn't no, press no. anything else. I want to play with it more. <laughs> hey, that's my toy. That's mine. That wasn't cheap, too, man. I had to pay for that. Like, back in the 19-whatevers, like, when Rob was created, I'm sure that Gyro cost a hefty penny to replace. Oh, what? Wait a second. Gyro disappeared the moment he landed. Because if it was still last, if he still... You know, the Gyro didn't disappear from that, then he would have gotten punished for landing on shield with the down air. So, like, good on John for just being lucky. And again, with the Wimbots on the sun segmentations, just... Uh, oh, you want to talk about? That we're, we're not playing catch. We're not playing hot potato. Give it back. It's yours now. I don't want it anymore. Okay, forward air gonna cover that and I'm gonna talk gyro. Oh my god, the down tilt is so oppressive. It's boop, 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 boop. Ooh. Okay, no burrow, surprisingly. I guess he wants to make sure he's at a percent where he just can't mash at it no matter what. Yeah, John has one of the faster mashes that uh, versus Rob, and like he can get out like OD fast. Oh, so really? it just doesn't even combo until like 160. <laughs> 160. <laughs> like, look, there's the Burrow percent, and then there's the John percent. Yeah. My goodness. Oh, and that was a great use of the gyro, covering the sun segmentation so you can't full charge from that. Because basically, if you get hit during a uh, charging animation for projectile, like, same as charge shot, sun segmentation, whatever it may be, if you get hit during that animation, then you lose the whole projectile. Wow. Unless you shield in time, or unless you just act out of the animation in time. Alright. Oh, wow, the laser almost cleared from that. Okay. So, wow. Mm, no, I'm surprised he didn't forward air from that, because he had a bit more juice left over to go for it. But speaking of forward air, that will do it at 160 to get the kill and be up one extra stock. If <laughs> a crouch, <laughs> just, just up and down, up and down. Talk about going deep, but not deep enough. Speaking of deep, that's oh. what both of them are doing currently. And again, covering any sort of attempts of aggression from John Zen with Dill's up air. Again, these characters are so good at lasting long periods of time off stage, while being both aggressive and passive at the same time. They can both stall really well. They can both uh, attack very well. They can recover very well. They're just really good characters in both on and off stage play. Hmm. Like, like think of it like this: even though those top tier characters like Palutena and Joker, they can't do much off stage in terms of stalling or in terms of damage output or aggression. To, to uh, pacify people who are trying to be aggressive towards them with a ledge guard or an edge guard off stage. But these two, these two can do so much both on and off stage that not many Ooh. characters can really do compared to them. Oh man, this is so close on both fronts, but John's at more of a deficit. Uh, oh my lord, and Dill wants to end it so fast, but Gyro gonna push him away mid uppy, covering the ledge like that, stepping on him and getting. Wow, what percent was that? How much was that? He oh just took God. almost he took almost 20. Just like over yeah, almost 20 for that. My no, over 20. I can't count, man. Oh, oh my God. God. You're so even. But Deeper Ring's gone, so I can assume that Dill's at a higher a uh, higher um so a lower deficit. Oh wow. I love the bait with the up oh, Okay, covering the covering the roll to grab, but uh, rolled away. Wasn't to what he expected. Oh, Deeper Ring's back. Woo, that back out of shield. Well, definitely take the second game. All right. Yeah, John's annoyed. And so is Dill, too. Like, they just look annoyed, dude. No, no one is happy. Look, 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 when you have to fight Rob and Weefit, despite who, you playing either or character, you're both not going to smile. There's no reason to smile from that. Like, when I had to fight Weefit, I didn't, I didn't have to play John. I'm not smiling after that. I'm not smiling at all, man. You breathed on me. You, you converted oxygen into carbon dioxide, and I took 60 for two hits. I'm not smiling after that one. You drained the emotion out of my face. <laughs> but, let's make a cannon, so this way, whenever she stuns negotiations, she recovers by sapping the emotions out of your opponent. Hmm. <sighs> 
Okay, we're moving on, moving on. Oh, uh, yo, you know whose water this is? I mean, just put it down, doesn't matter. Uh, good, good point, good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man, I'm thirsty. If it's unopened, make it. I mean, it's partially empty. You're the best, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, game three. Uh, Dill getting, uh, getting the first blood, getting some damage. 60 damage is not too much of a lead here, but it really just depends on in the next few exchanges if numbers can get an in. Right now, Dill pretty much keeping stage control, making sure that he's just right now just untouchable. Tried to end that stock right away. Take a real strong lead here now. 90 damage to 21. Ooh, all right, Dill getting a little bit uh, cheeky with that, trying to get that back air, but it was like not even close. It was cool, however, wait, used the back air to use momentum just to push him back into John, and but still got the grab, despite not getting much of a punish on it. And just like that, uh, numbers just completely evened up the percentages. Kyle can do that. <laughs> nah, it's crazy, it's crazy. Like, last, like, game one, John, uh, Dill was the aggressor, right? And then John said, no, 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 I want to I wanna be mad. And then he got mad and won game two. And now Dill's on the same level. No, I want to get even madder. And Everyone Boss, he's getting even more aggressive. is furious. Everyone's pissed. Like, I, I'm still in game three. I'm pissed. I should have won. What the hell, man? And look at him trying to beat me in with the Ooh. upbeat. That is a unique thing that only Rob can really do, though. That's crazy. Yeah, he can save his jump and jump out of his up B, mm -hmm. so he can just kind of burst up really fast. There's not too many uh, Smash characters that have vertical burst range. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good way to say it. I guess you can count like Falco's vertical burst range because of like how high you can jump. Yeah. Oh uh, my lord. Yeah, characters with big jumps, ZSS, Falco, Greninja, they yeah. all have like they're all birds. Yeah, <laughs> they all flying, bro. Yes. They all got wings, whether you can see them or not. They're they're not angels, but they got wings. Because angels are honest. Alright, so John, uh, despite Dill having the early lead, uh, John took the first stock and is kind of already working on that second stock here. Jeez, he's uh, taking a wave of map stage with anything you can throw at him. Ooh. Lasers, gyro, soccer ball, whatever it may be, so I get the job done. John's staying alive at 177. Oh, I love the mix up with the soccer ball cancel right there. Just hit him with a kick into the, ooh, into the goal. Like, no, that, that should be Peace the goal. Out. No. Oh, Why not up throw? Yeah. I think he I think he just saw that he was close to the ledge and he didn't want to risk it. That but makes like, sense. Yeah. Up throw would have definitely killed. Hmm. Alright, sure, anyway. like, just do the nerves as well. Like if you're at a high if you're at a high stakes uh tail moment. hit of the up air gonna seal out that final stock uh for the first yeah, seal out the first stock. And then uh yeah, so now hundred percent lead. Wow, Woo. good DI. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, he just took that for free, unfortunately. Stupid. Another one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude. All right, full stock lead here. He just really took three hits to the face. And could have clearly avoided. Dang. Oh, really that's, wanted to shoot that's 47. Laser. That's 47. Starting from one neutral air. 75. It's going to not stop. I take it all back. John's the one who was mad this whole time. He was the Ooh. maddest Ooh. one. He was the most furious. And also, he just down tilts it into laser. That's a whole oh. new thing! The soccer ball! Oh my god! Darn. What for just Dale. happened? <laughs> I mean, this, like, the soccer ball legitimately saved him from dying. Oh my goodness. That that was actually perfect on Johnson. The soccer ball both pushed him away, because the side beam from Rob is also a reflector. And thus, since he got out of the side beam, he was still in the egg lag of said side beam. And thus, we think could just dip on him for free with down air.